Merci. What happened last Wednesday at College and Career Night? One ears at Homecoming and all your Tiger sports with Devin Ward. Tiger Vision News starts now. What's up, Prince of High School? I'm Gordon Sandercox here with my amazing co-host, Josh Bacon. How are you? I'm doing good. Thanks, Gordon. Well, we finally have the final count of how many units of blood we were, do were donated on September 19th and 20th. On Monday, 80th units of blood. On Tuesday, 80 units of blood. A rough count of 80... On Tuesday, a rough count of 83 with a total of 163 units donated. All the blood will save about 500 lives, and the United Blood Service would like to thank all of you who aided in their effort to save lives and hopes to see more next year. Did you ever think you could give back to the community by eating ice cream? Now you can. This fundraiser is to help Friendship's Texas Future Music Educators. The events will be from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday, October 6th. It will be at the Baskin Robbins, located at 1003 University Avenue. Their phone number is 687-3100. Last Friday was homecoming, and we have, a, have the homecoming king and queen. They are Marissa Rodriguez and Philip Norwood. The final winners of the homecoming parade are as follows. First place, Latin. Second place, Decca. Third place, French. Also, the Storm Studies Club will be starting rather early this year to begin some campaigns with Texas Tech Wind Research Team. The club will be having its first meeting Thursday after school in room S1 from 345 to 415. This is a club that will, gr that will grate on your college and employee resume if you intend to go into meteorology. The SSC and the Student Council will be doing a joint fundraiser on November 5th and 6th called a Fly-In. It will be held at the Town and Country Airport located at 12201 Country Road, 2500 in Lubbock, Texas. Admission is $10 for adults, $5 for kids, and children under 5 are free. Tickets will be sold at the gate. And any questions can be answered by the president of the Storm Studies Club, Dylan Edwards, or by the president of the Student Council, Tara Lloyd. This year's friendship, Autotex Skills USA students will be selling t-shirts in support of cancer awareness. As a memorial, the names of our loved ones or friends may be printed on the sack backs of these shirts. Orders for these shirts will begin Wednesday, September 7th, 2011. They will stop taking orders on Friday, October 14th. Five dollars from every shirt sale will be donated to the American Cancer Society. Here are the people that placed an all-region choir.
Well, that's all for the news today, but now it's time for a daily trivia question. What was the first living creature ever ejected from a supersonic aircraft? Was it A, a platypus, B, a bear, C, turtle, or D, monkey? Just to give you a hint, PETA wasn't happy. Stay tuned. Vincenzo is a responsible student. He always follows the rules, even while under pressure. The pressure today is on. Vince has to go to the bathroom. Dum, dum, dum. What should he do? Oh, yeah. He has to use the new, improved hall pass. Not only does this hall pass grant you access from point A to point B, it's also used for many valuable purposes. Vincenzo is craving the salty goodness of corn nuts. But there's a hole in the bag. What should he do? Use the hall pass. Win. Oh no, Vincenzo's teacher wants him to finish a test. She's approaching quickly. What should he do? Use the hall pass. Another victory. It's a long walk to the little boy's room and Vince is breaking a sweat. What should he do? Use the hall pass. Nice, Vince. Vincenzo's about to fulfill his destiny, but there's a leak. He can't get wet. What should he do? Use the hall pass. Another day, another battle, another victory with the Hall Pass. Hall Pass! So again, the question, what was the first living creature ever ejected from a supersonic aircraft? A. Platypus. B. Bear. C. Turtle. Or D. Monkey. Well, the answer is B. A bear. Did you guess that? No, I did Okay. This doesn't really work. No, I didn't, Gordon. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So what's this week's weather forecast look like? Elena Husko is checking things outside for us. Elena. Hey, Friendship. I'm Elena Husko here for your weather for the next few days. Let's get started. Today we have a high of 84, a low of 55. Tomorrow we have a high of 77 and a 30% chance of thunderstorms with a low of 58. Thursday, we have a 20% chance of thunderstorms with a high of 81 and a low of 60. Friday, we have a 40% chance of thunderstorms with a high of 75. Heavy rain towards the nighttime with a low of 54. Saturday, we have a high of 77 with a chance of thunderstorms and a low around 57. I'm Let's go back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Elena. Now we have Jason, handsome man Wilkins, in it with a studio interview. Thanks, guys. Uh, I'm here with Alyssa Stevens on the Trash Crew. So, Alyssa, Alyssa, what is the Trash Crew all about? Um, the Trash Crew is just about like supporting our team and pumping them up at the games and just showing our Tiger spirit in the cr in the crowd. And uh, why did Trash Crew start? Um, it started by a bunch of senior guys last year. I'm not really sure why they started. The, with the trash, but they did, and it was just a good way to get the crowd involved and all the students um, involved at the game, and so we decided to keep it going this year. All right, and uh, who can join Trash Crew? Um, anyone can join. And uh, how would you, how would one join? Um, you can, we have a Facebook page called Trash Crew, and you can either just add it on there, and I'll accept you, and then we can um, just get you on the list and stuff, or you can just message me on Facebook, or um, just contact me somehow and I'll get you on the list. All right, thank you so much, Alyssa. And now guys, after this commercial break, we'll have Devin Ward with all your Tiger Sports. Stay tuned. <laughs> Excuse me there, young man. You need to shave. No, you need to shave. That's horrible. We got a code black going down the freshman wing, freshman hallway, code black.
Stop right there, criminal scum. No! Then pay with your blood! Every day, 12 students are mauled horribly in a shaving accident at the school. Be safe. Shave at home where you get the proper medical care, assuming you have an accident and cut yourself like this man did. Hey, what's up, Friendship High School? I'm God, what are you doing, Miss Jones? God, how do I reach these geeks? So, I'm Devin Ward here with all your Tiger Sports State updates, so let's get started. Today, our tennis team will play Plainview at Plainview at 4 o'clock. Good luck to you, all you tennis players. Also, our volleyball team will be playing at Palo Duro today. Ninth grade B plays at 5 p.m. JV plays at 6, varsity at 7. Good luck to all you girls. Bring us home another win. The cross-country team ran in the Tascosa meet this past week. Here are the varsity people who placed, starting with the guys. Gordon Sandercox placed 27th. For the girls, placed overall, um, third, pl uh, placed overall third place. Emily Willems placed second. Mercedes Sanchez placed 13th. And Micah... Uh, Valdez plays 18th. Great job to all the cross country people. Their next meet is Tuesday. Cross country team travels to Odessa to run in the Odessa. Sorry, God. It's Thursday. The Odessa team, <laughs> they're going to Odessa on Thursday to run in the Odessa Gallup. Luck, good luck to all you cross country people. Finally, last but not least, football. If you missed homecoming, you missed a great game. Bobby Hugh and Demodric Tucker ran for over 200 yards, and Tucker Tuberville threw for 223 and four touchdowns. The Tigers surged to a 2-0 lead in district, and they won with a 74-42 victory. Great job, guys. The next game will be at Buffalo Stadium at 7 o'clock in Canyon, Texas. They're playing Canyon High Eagles. Hope to see you there. And uh, anyone who is interested in signing up to play uh, basketball, go see Coach Deere. If you didn't sign up, you don't get to play or try out. So you need to sign up. For real. For real. How do I reach these geeks? Okay. So that's the end of our show. I'm Josh Bagan with Jason Wilkins, Gordon Sandercox, Devin Ward. That's all. I like turtles. He likes turtles.